Hello and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video I'll just be spray painting this Holden SS Commodore Ute, the quarter panel, and I'm doing the rear bar as well, but I've, I've left that out to stop you guys from getting too bored of watching me spray paint. So I've started off pack ragging it, and now I'm putting on my first coat. It's all been washed down with a cleaning solvent prior to tack ragging it too and as you can see all the prep work's already been completed. It's a nice looking colour this one so that's why I thought I would get some footage of it. It's uh, electric blue. The name the manufacturer gave it was Voodoo. It's got quite a lot of pearl, pearlescent colour in it. A lot of blue pearl and a little bit of white pearl in there as well. And just a touch of metallic in the standox version of this colour. So we've left it a couple of minutes in between coats of base coat just to, to flash off and you can see it'll start to go dull. It'll be a little bit shiny when it's wet but once it's started to dull off you can start putting your second coat on. Being that this colour has a lot of pearl in the colour, it will not cover very well. So you've got to put about four coats on and get them on nice and wet so you don't have any see-through patches when it's outside in the sunlight. And as you can see on these first couple of coats, all I'm really doing is just covering the repaired areas or the primed areas. I'm not attempting to do any blend yet. Just getting getting the coverage over the panel first. For your last coat you will have to blend that quarter panel. See how I'm basically just stopping and it's basically just a line down the quarter panel. If I was to clear over that you would end up seeing the colour difference that there may be in my colour at that point. And you will also want to put your last coat on a little bit lighter, not as heavy as this coat. It will help the, the pearls uh, have a better effect in the colour. So this is the blend coat that I'm doing over here. It's not really that complicated as you can see. You're just lifting up a little bit and you're sort of flicking the colour out. It's something that some people do have problems with when they're starting in this, but I think the old saying, keep it simple stupid, is uh, a good, good pointer if you're trying to do blends and stuff like that. The way I was taught was as if you're telling someone to, you're giving them a backhander when you're doing your first blend, so you say piss off and you're flicking the colour out like that. So as you can see, I'm using my GTI Pro Devilbus spray gun with a T2 air cap on it, the Transpec cap. I actually changed the cap over for this video just to show you guys the different spray fans and spray pattern that it has. I usually use the HVLP air cap, the H1. And as you can see, I'm probably holding the gun a little bit further back than what I would be with the HBLP cap and moving a little bit quicker with this. Your first coat's really just to seal it seal it down and get a closed coat over the whole uh, base coat area and the full panel so you, you don't want to be able to see through to any of that base coat any of the dull base coat after this coat and we've given that a few minutes to flash off and now I'm putting the second coat on which you'll want to slow down slow down the uh, pattern a little bit and you'll probably notice about a 
70% overlap. So you go 70% up from your last spray pattern. I actually ended up getting a little bit of a, um, a paint build up on the bumper bar of this or a paint run. Um, so if you wanted to hang around and you will find a link at the end of this video to some other videos that I have. I'm using a medium solid clear on this one which is a two full coat system and here I have a mini spray gun set up with some blending reducer you can uh, change that if you would like for a different kind of a reducer um, you can just use normal reducer but you have to mix it with a bit of clear first to put it over that blend on the pillar there and this is me spraying a coat over the bumper bar they can actually be quite tricky to paint bumper bars um, because they've got heaps of li little different edges and corners and stuff where the paint can build up. So always start down the bottom and then do your edges, then come across and do the side area and then do the center. As I said, there's another video of how to remove a paint run if you hang around to the end, there's a link on how to polish and remove a small paint run that I got on the other side of this bumper bar. It's something that, as my boss always used to tell me, if you don't get a run every now and then, you're not trying hard enough. You're not trying to get it on nice and wet enough. So that's this video car looking nice and shiny. Thanks for watching. This has been another Gunman production. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.